All right, Shalom. I'm going to give you all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wahawah Kar Kwadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone for teaching his word and truth and sincerity and for ruling well. And salutations to my fellow Akim across the four corners of the globe, preaching and prophesying in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is the brother Gubar Yahweh Duff from GMS Hawaii coming to you with another uh, quick lesson. And it's on this article that you see in front of you. From, uh, from RT News is entitled Amazon Bezos predicts only, nim only limited number of people will get to remain on earth. All right. And, you know, that's these uh, he's pushing that that same old doctrine about world population. According to these so-called super elite, the biggest problem on earth is world population. According to them, it's so-called too many people on the earth but that's just their pride talking and that's what this devil's doing his pride is speaking you know these aren't his his words these are the words of the super elite but nonetheless he's still an edomite and that's still pride speaking because the, the lord created the earth to be inhabited okay and it is not the, the earth is not overpopulated with people there are a lot more people on the earth than in the past but that's because judgment is coming all right, but even nevertheless, the earth was made to be inhabited by people. That's I mean, I mean, for people by the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So it says, Amazon Bezos predicts only limited number of people will get to remain on the on Earth. Humanity will move most industry into space and allow only a select few to remain on our planet, which will be turned into a natural resort. According to self-funded space explorer Jeff Bezos, and that's what Esau wants to do. He wants to make the Earth a resort and paradise for himself. All right, and the vast majority of people he wants to take out, stop the rest of the people from procreating, or or, or put procreate selected ones, slakia, so that they can uh, continue their uh, you know their their uh, exploits and evil. And that's not going to happen, buddy. All right. This is the Amazon billionaire enthusiastically shared his predictions for what human civilization will look like in the future with him personally helping with him personally helping to bring that future closer during a talk at the annual Ignatius Forum in Washington, D.C., which does nothing but pride. He expects vast cylindrical space colonies spinning to create artificial gravity for millions of residents to take over most industri industrial industrial production. Meanwhile, Earth will be turned into a natural reserve with restricted access similar to the U.S. National Park today. This place is special. We can't ruin it, the founder of Amazon said of our planet. But you Edomites have already ruined it. Your existence alone is ruining the Earth. Okay, real quick. This is... Um, Isaiah 45 and 18, for thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, that created the heavens, the Most High himself that formed the earth and made it, he have established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited, I am the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and there is none else, so the Lord made the earth to be inhabited. Let's look at that word for inhabited. See, the Lord didn't create the earth in vain, but let these Edomites sell it. He did. It said to dwell, to remain, to abide. All right? So the Lord created the earth for man to abide, to inhabit it. Okay? All right? He didn't set space up so that people can live in space. Now in the kingdom of heaven, the children of Israel... Lord, when we be part of the elect, we're going to be uh, uh, able to go in and out of space with the bodies that we have. But these bodies that we currently have today, they're not made for space, man. Okay, but this is just Esau's plan. This is another one of Esau's uh, diabolical plans and another one of his ways of speaking about population control, man. You know? Because as it stands, the only people that can go in space right now or go into the upper atmosphere to play, or you super you super elite Edomites, man, with all that money. 
and all your influence. All right? But that's not going to happen in the kingdom of heaven, man. Everything, this earth was made to be inhabited, man. It was created for, uh, it says that uh, uh, um, one generation passive, another, let me get that. Let me get that real quick. This is, uh, this is, um, um, yep, it's like you. Yep, Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So that's how it was set up, man. People live, people die on this earth, but the earth, it, it, was, it was made to last forever, man, no matter what's going to be done. And you're talking about, his quote was, this is a special place. I'm sorry, this place is special. We can't ruin it. The founder of Amazon uh, said, uh, said of our planet, but all you've done is ruin the planet. You all you done, all you Edomites have done is destroy the planet. You're in power, and what happened? Evil is multiplied in the earth. Wickedness multiplied in the earth. So what do you mean is this place is special? You don't treat the place like it's special. You poison the water, the air, the food, the people, the mines, everything. You kill the animals, destroy every damn thing. So I, I, you don't treat this place like it's special, man. And that's why Yahweh Shai is coming back to destroy them. Who destroyed the earth? Revelation 11 and 18. Revelation 11 and 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath has come, in the time of the dead, that they should be judged, that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroyeth the earth. Who is the ones that destroy the earth? You Edomites. The so-called white man, starting off with you super so-called elite. You're the ones that's destroying the earth. You're the ones that's poisoning the people. You're the ones that's killing the people. You're the ones that's... You're the ones that's killing uh, whole ecosystems, man. By way of your industry, man. You're the ones that's doing that. So, you don't... You eat them, it's, that's a lie that you believe that this place is a special place. If you believe that this place was a special place, then you wouldn't be destroying it, man. Just for you to go into space, you have to pollute the earth. You have to pollute the air. They got something in the space called space trash. Who, who, who put that up there? You can't blame that on so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the sons and sons and daughters of, of Yahweh Bashim al-Shad, the, the real Israelites. You Edomites did that, man. So Yahweh Shad is coming back to destroy them, them who destroyed the earth. And that's you Edomites. You Edomites are the destroyers of earth, man. Okay? And after a thousand long years, you're going to be taken out, man. You're going to be taken off the earth because you serve no purpose. You served your purpose already. You was a perfect, wicked demon. All right? And all of these, all of these billionaires from the super elite all the way down to the these, these welfare cases like uh, um, Jeff Bezos, man. You think you're just going to run the world in wickedness and do what you want to do? This nigga can't even... Here it is. This man can't even control his woman. He trying to control the earth, man. You out of order, man. Okay, you out of order. And it's a fact. Okay, the earth was made to be inhabited. And it will be inhabited. There's nothing you can do about it, Esau. And so with that, I'm going to say shalom and on to the next.